Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Z James. This is Z32 Workshop, and that behind me is my 1992 Dodge Stealth RT. Also, being basically a Mitsubishi 3000 GT or a Mitsubishi GTO, depending on what you say. Um, as in previous videos, it's just a front wheel drive car, automatic, uh, dual overhead cam, three liter. Um, so it's middle of the road for the Stealths and the 3000 GTs. It's not the VR4, which would be twin turbo or all wheel drive. Um, so last video we were working on getting the gas tank out, which I did, and broke stuff because rust and just, I would say neglect, but not really. It's a 30 year old car, it's just issues you gotta deal with. Um, let's go take a look at it real fast for what's going on here. Um, if you come and take a look at the tank, it is cruddy. Uh, you can tell where I beat on it with a little bit of a hammer to see if I could figure out where the brake was at, and it's right there. Um, this video, we're going to try taking <clears throat> this guy off. But with all this crap, I'm going to drag it in my yard and see if I can rinse off a bunch of this stuff. Um, because it's, pre it's pretty shot. Uh, the tank's bad. I just want to see if the hanger's good and if this relief valve appears okay and start getting some penetrating uh, fluid on it. Um, this video for you guys will be one. For me, this will probably be multiple day. Try to saturate those so I don't snap them off. Like I said, I just want to see if the stuff's good inside of it. Yeah, as you can see, look at all this. Look at all this junk. It's just, oh, this thing's a pain in the butt. You know, you wouldn't notice. Look at that. You look at the outside of the car. Looks great, but stuff like this is hiding underneath. I don't know if the previous owner lived on gravel roads or what, but top of the tank had a lot of stuff. And you can tell where it came up on top and got into this edge and just rotted it all the way through. Um, and then uh, you see like this guy right here, which is the uh, vent and spill prevention situation. So the car rolls over, gases dump out. Um, you gotta check valve situation. Uh, if I know most of this correctly, this is your vent line, that's your feed line. I think this is a return line. And this, I think, is for venting when you're putting gas in for filling it up because of the fill, fill port's down there. So let's, uh, I'll put you guys in speed warp here in my yard of me just cleaning it up and see if we can get this thing apart. All right, so here we go. Three. Two, one, time warp. So hope you all enjoying the music. Just gonna be watching me run around and speed warp. Uh, just so everyone knows, yes, uh, you're gonna see some unsettling poses with me here as I clean this tank up. But look at all that grime coming off that tank. Yeah, I know it's shot, it leaks, but I wanted to clean it up to see how bad stuff is. But just look at that stuff. So when I got the air hose out and finally cleaned it all up, it, look at all that debris. That is just horrendous. And everything is just caked in it. So I'm assuming this thing, at some point in its life, lived on gravel or something. And, and the rest of something. Look at those chunks. Ross, that's where it split and had the issue uh, right there. But it's uh, pretty good, surprising to see there's just those rust spots around it, which aren't that bad, to be honest. But, you know, I've been being split like that. Um, getting more air out just to clean it all on up. Eventually, I'll sit there and start soaking, as I did with the WD-40, all the bolts. Now, those are our 8 millimeters. Um, I made a mistake and said 7 and uh, stuff because, well, frankly, they were corroded that bad. It took me quite a bit to get that cleaned up. Uh, and once again, I'm just cleaning this up to see how horrendous this is on it. And just so everyone knows, I know this video is a little old and this audio is quite later on for me talking about it. Um, yeah, I am trashing that tank. Just for everyone's uh, notion here. If you look at it quite a bit, I'm cleaning up the... Trying to get those off, working them slowly to save them. Um, using just a wrench, going back and forth on it. Right now I'm still trying to remove, um, that was the uh, hoses, that's a vent too for spillover, for expansion. Um, working those nuts come off, because they use studs on these tanks, which I despise and I think everyone does. I'm trying to take my time not to break any of those off, and I got it available, I got it out. Uh, then uh, that was when I realized I was trying to work on the other one, 
and start moving those by. Um, slowly hitting them with some WD-40, some lubricant. Um, me trying to use different wrenches to try to get those to break up. Keep on soaking them, trying to get them to break free. And eventually, you'll see that I'll start working on them and start coming off. Um, I did take my time trying to slowly trying to get these off because these are known to snap. There is a kit you can get. Uh, I'll throw that on the description below on what's going on that can help repair those. The stud repair kit. Uh, 3SX sells them, uh, which is pretty good. It's 100 bucks, but realistic, it's over 100 bucks. But it's actually good to save a tank if you get a really good tank. Uh, that is me literally trying to get stuff on because these things are so rusted. Trying to get on to get a bite because I'm almost rounding off the nuts here. And slowly trying to work them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and, but eventually here, you'll start seeing that I just end up snapping these things. Every one of them. I only got one of them out. And I'll say that in the video here in a little bit. And this is just me slowly taking time to go get it. Um, not that hard, just took a while. And here we go, you'll see it in a second. Finally get it out, and the pump and hanger is good. Boom, off time warp, guys. Um, as you can see, uh, I had some success on getting these seven millimeter or eight millimeter bolts off. Um, on the relief, only snapped one off. I got a little too aggressive, but on the pump itself, on where the hanger is at, only got one. Everything else just snapped. You can see that stuff was pretty well corroded. Um, yes, I am correct. That is a return line there. That's for a vent. Um, that's the safety. Um, as you can see, there is still fuel in this tank, which is why I didn't want to get anywhere near putting stuff in. So I am going to have to empty this out. This doesn't look that bad. I wish it didn't have that problem there. I don't know. Maybe I send it off and see if they can get it cleaned. I don't know, but with these being bad, you're going to have to drill them out or something. I'm not for sure. Uh, I'll have to investigate. Like I said, the top of the tank is pretty bad, but the inside of the tank is clean. I wasn't anticipating trash but the hanger the hanger looks good i mean other than the fact i gotta get this coupling to go, come apart which now that i've got it out of the tank i can heat it up and get wild and crazy with it a little bit but the hanger itself is in good shape so i'm a little little confused i mean i think it's just unfortunately it wasn't the inside of the tank that got bad it was the outside of the tank that got bad so, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I know it's just a bunch of time warp. Oh, and you can see the cleaning. Look at all the debris came up from under the car. All of this broke of, out of this tank. Um, every one of these freaking little 7 millimeters snapped, which is just disheartening, to say the least. You know? But there's nothing else I can really do about it. I mean, I try doing my best to not break it. And, you know, it just is what it is when it comes to this stuff. Sometimes working on old crusty stuff means old crusty stuff happens. So like race car stuff, race car stuff happens. So if you guys got any questions, hit me up. Comments below. I'm usually pretty responsive for the most part, unless there's family, life, kids stuff. You know how it is. So anyway... I'll talk to y'all later. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.